Hey guys, this is Big Bird uh, once again. It's been a while since I made a video, but uh, I'm excited because I finally got my new, uh, to me, uh, 2023 King's Camo R10 set up uh, uh, last week. I've been so busy making ready accessories that I couldn't uh, begin to think about touching this thing, uh, even though I bought it. Uh, early last fall uh, from a good friend on Cross Four Nation. And um, it's a beautiful bow, but I didn't know how it was going to shoot. And I wanted to make sure all my accessories uh, fit it. And so I'm pleased to say, yeah, everything fit fine. And it shoots great as well. So I thought I'd just uh, share a few moments with you to show you my accessories how it dresses up this uh, King's Camo Raven, which is a really slick looking uh, camel pattern in my opinion. There's my stirrup on there that uh, many of you are familiar with that you can grab the bow. And since it's got a two pound scope on it, this comes in handy to, to grab the bow when you're uh, pulling it off a tree stand. Um, let's see, uh, I've got my, as you can see, my top mount quiver holder that works so well. I, only I loaded two arrows and shot one of those at Target. I'll show you in a few minutes, but uh, uh, that's really comes in handy if you're hunting from a ladder stand with a shooting rail because you don't have to take it off. Uh, of course, I moved my put a new uh, bubble level on there for uh, on the left side for right hand shooter and moved over my limb savers and PSC limb bands for my R9, which I'll be selling. My gray R10 now will be my backup below. Uh, even though it's six years old, it still shoots wonderfully. And let's see. Um, yeah, I moved over my Oracle X scope as well as the range button holder. Um, and also the uh, sc scope rail extension, uh, which is ideal because for me because I have to, have to push this scope all the way forward and speaking of that there's my new um, stock extension that I, that I made uh, especially for this new uh, R10 because I still want to keep the, my old one on my R10 uh, on my gray R10 I should say of course I got a new burden out here that fits fine and uh, of course, the throw le lever is moved over with the scope, uh, and you got a new trigger shoe uh, on this R10 as well. So it pretty much, um, oh yeah, I even reserved the uh, center serving and double served it, and got my used my knock center tool to put a, a really nice groove. Probably can't see that, but it's got a really not nice uh, notch groove in the double serving, uh, which. Uh, gives you a added level of confidence that you're not going to have any horizontal uh, uh, knock travel. And uh, timing is set dead center between the dots. Uh, and I'm pleased to say when you cock the bow, uh, the cams are still sync, which is really important. And Camelin is tuned out uh, with the, um, uh, the bow cocked. And uh, ATA, I, as I recall, is just slightly less than 10 and a half, maybe like a 30 second less. So it's tuned, and uh, so I brought it out today. I want to see uh, if I can zero the scope at 20 yards. And uh, we'll go out and I left the arrow on the target, we'll go out and look, but it took a whole three shots to tune it. Uh, so I was real ecstatic with that. Uh, unfortunately, my snow camel job on the scope doesn't exactly totally match the King Camel uh, that Raven puts on uh, these bows, but it's not far off. I got a feeling deer aren't going to be uh, bothered by that, and uh, I'm anxious to uh, use it next hunting season and, uh, and to get some shots uh, downrange uh, in long distance to see if, the, uh, if I have to recalibrate uh, any data points on the scope. Uh, but it's a bit windy for that today, and uh, raining uh, 
off and on, misting off and on, so I figured I'll do that another day. Uh, but it's, um, I think it's a nice looking rig. The, the, the trigger is actually a little crispier than uh, uh, my six year old gray R10. By the way, that, that R10 has a serial number around in the low 600s. This one's got a serial number over 125,000. And that's just for R10s because it's got uh, R10 coal in front of it. But um, it's sweet. It really is. And um, um, I want to thank uh, uh, Pinwheel and, and, and um, Inspector. Uh, um, Frankie, they really, their the real names were Frankie and, and Scott from Cross Foundation for uh, helping me get this bow. And uh, I'm expecting, uh, if I can get another six years out, out of this bow like I did my gray one, uh, which will now be, of course, my backup, uh, then I'll be uh, excited. Uh, by then, I probably won't be able to climb a tree stand anymore anyway. But anyway, here's the setup that I use to... Um, always to shoot uh, uh, my uh, ravens here at the farm. I use nothing in the world but a Primus Polecat, uh, a Rapid Connect uh, bipod with adjustable legs. And I forgot the name of this target, but it makes, I don't use it for a target because it's too hard to pull arrows out, but it sure does make a nice seat uh, for me shooting. Uh, so, uh, enough of that, uh, we'll walk out, my wife will follow me and we'll walk out and I'll show you how difficult it was to tune this thing. total of three shots to two. First shot was about three quarter inches to the right, but the elevation was perfect. Second shot I overcorrected and it was about three quarter inches to the left. So I brought the windage we uh, setting in between and drilled the dot. And uh, uh, since my arrows are uh, spine matched and uh, uh, um, from uh, Spine index and spine match from WWB on cost formation. I'm sure that uh, I can find uh, quite a few other arrows that do the same thing. The next step is go uh, out and push it for the long range. Uh, by the way, that's a range practice tip for all you. You know, that's what you can shoot. And uh, they shoot pretty close to field points. So uh, it just it makes it easier to pull the target you pull the arrow out of the target. Well, you get well, anyways, uh, thanks for uh, watching the video. You guys uh, stay warm the rest of the winter, and I hope your uh, Super Bowl team wins tomorrow. So take care now. Bye-bye.